Hello, I am Kieran from Glitch Free Gaming. You may also know me as Proto Me from basically everywhere on the internet. Um, the more relevant one to this video would be the Waypoint forums or the Gaming Vice forums. Um, yeah, uh, there's a decent thread on there where we've been kind of building some Super Mario Maker 2 levels. Everyone's kind of just getting started with it, but I'm enjoying playing Mario Maker 2 so much that I figured, hey, may as well take a look at some of these levels and make a little video about it. Because why not? And also because I've actually just really liked most of the levels I've played from that forum, so it makes sense. Um, so I'm going to start with one of mine, just because I'm an artist like everyone on the internet. So here's one I made that's called Squeaky. It's about mice. Yeah, I didn't really have much going with this one. It was kind of just, I wanted to try out the Mario 3D World stuff. Um, oh god, I'm getting a bit more delay through this than I thought I would. But hey, let's find out if I can finish this level. Go get those excuses set up up front. Um, yeah, so this level was basically just built around the idea of I was fucking about with the... Uh, I was messing about with the... Mario 3D World stuff, and saw that these mice, okay, I don't know what they're actually in this, uh, they jump when you jump, so I wanted to build a little level around that, um, it's not too elaborate, I probably could have made it way more difficult and relied way more on this stuff, oh, well, this guy thought it was hard apparently, <laughs> sorry, um, but yeah, there's some jumps here that really rely on you to like jump and then jump off them while they're in midair. Like I don't think you can actually make that one otherwise. Uh, this one you can cheese it because you could wall jump. Uh, but there's probably ways to make this a bit more difficult. I tried to make it here so that you had to chain a few of them together. But it doesn't really... It, it doesn't really work because they don't actually... They don't jump when you bounce which was the flaw in that plan. I hope that you could, you know... Every time you bounce someone, it would make them all jump, but that's not that's not how it works. So I was limited by the mechanics, unfortunately. But I think it's not right to be level. This one, you can hit him when he's going up. It's quite happy with that jump. Anyway, that's my level. It's called Squeaky. I'll put the code up in a second, and. Then I'll start getting into the actual levels from the Waypoint community because theirs are better than mine. Um, there's lots of nice comments on that though. So there's the course ID there. 3L3VH7SFF. In the comments. Oh, someone tried to draw a mouse. I don't know what this one is, but yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, first up from the actual Waypoint forums, we have user R Powell, or on here, Reese for you. Uh, as you can see, course ID there is 836V0SH2G. Uh, I've played all these before, just up front. These I'm not playing these blind, um, just for clarity there. Uh, but I quite liked all of them, so let's get into this one. all Super Mario Brothers. Oh, I remember this one. I'm not good at these kind of jumps. You got to really get under there or else you're doomed. I swear I beat this one before. Arpel, what are you doing to me? All right, all right, I'm almost got it. I actually found last time that you can skip this jump, but I thought I'd do it properly. Because you can actually, from down there, you can land on top of this, which is what I did the first time. Oh, this is Mario 3. Why does he Mario Bros? Um, oops. I'm good at Mario, I promise. All right. These hooks are new to Mario Maker 2 and they're cool. I've seen a lot of people make some really 
cool, weird things with them. Oh god, didn't jump high enough that time. Um, funnily enough, yes, yeah, see, like that. Oops. And then if you don't mess up that landing, you can do that to cheat. It's actually easier than trying to do the proper jump, I think. Um, I was going to say, funnily enough, I'm actually using a Mega Drive controller to play this. Uh, as Mario was intended to be played. I'm using the... Oh god, I forget what the name of it is now. The... The 8 bit to M30. How can I forget the name of it? It's written on the front of it. Um, it's a cool little controller. But I will say, if you use that controller, you go into settings, flip these. So this by default, flip to this, makes it control perfectly. Button layout. You know, it's almost like Mario wasn't made for a Mega Drive controller or something. Who knew? Uh, I quite like this level. It's. It's that first jump is a bit of a pain, but I feel like it's mainly a bit of a pain because it was him or her, I don't know people's names, like uh, genders. Um, it was their first attempt at using those blocks, I think. Uh, and probably their first attempt at using these hooks as well, but it's, it's good. So that is our pills level. Bad day in the sand. It has a bunch of comments on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I left a comment. I tried to leave... Oh yeah, there's mine there. I tried to leave a comment and like every single one of these. Um, with the intention of giving some actual like critical feedback in the forum thread if there was anything that I wanted to. But there's not really... This, this level's good. Uh, so I'm going to cut to the next one. So the next level we have is Bowser's Ice Castle by Face Snake. Which is also their username on the forums. Uh, the course ID is S55FR3J2G. Uh, this is a pretty cool level as well. As I said, I've played through all these before. This one has some kind of difficult jumps, some spikes. Uh, there's this jump at start that I... Not that one, obviously, that's a bit too easy. But uh, there's one up here that I die a bunch. We'll probably die here. Yep. Uh, this is kind of a difficult jump. Nothing in the rest of the levels really as difficult as this. But this one is... rough. Um, but it's a cool level, and I like this theme a lot. Like, we have snowy levels in Mario Maker now. <sighs> um, uh, you might hear some clacking of my buttons, unfortunately. I'll get that sorted in the future. I love this music. Oh, god damn it. Ace. Overcorrected on that one. It's too busy paying attention to the music. This one, like, um, stalactite, or icicle, I guess, is mean. The whole start of this level is mean. Ah! Oh. That's so close. I got this though. I got this. I swear I finished these levels before. Right. Just gotta be careful. Don't jump too high. Don't jump too low. Oh yeah, the one downside about this controller is it's a little bit... The buttons are a little bit clacky. That's why you can kind of hear them get picked up by a microphone. Whereas the Switch controllers, the Joy-Cons, and the um, oh, the Pro controller don't really pick up. I just like this controller though, so I wanted to use it. I, was, I wasn't even really a Mega Drive kid is the weird thing. Or Genesis if you're American. Oh jeez. I remember finding that you could just jump up here and it's actually a bit easier. There's my pro tips for this level. Alright, let the icicles deal with them. 
There's a fire thing here that starts the timer. I don't think I, don't think I would stand above that bob on. Uh, yeah, so basically I just need to wait for him to go through. Dodge these icicles. Which the icicles can't really move. So this this area is maybe a bit you know, overcomplicated for what it is. It should maybe have some pipes spitting more enemies out or something. But it's good. Let's get it. Oh, I missed it. Because I'm bad at video games. Right, so that again is, uh, was it Bowser's Ice Castle? Uh, by Facenake. S55, FR3, J2G. I'll put all the codes down below as well, um, so I don't need to read them out like this. And there's a bunch of comments on all that. It's... It's good. I like this one. I mean, I like all of them. That's why I'm doing a video on them. But I like this one. Next up, we have Heavenly Way by James Tarr, which again is their username in the forums as well. Level ID VQF WJY 6CG. And again, it'll be down below. So I'm not going to read it off again at the end like I have for those. Uh, no offense, James Tarr. No, not a slight of you, just I'm winging this video and updating it as I go. Uh, the clear rate's pretty high, 31%. That's pretty good. It's not the hardest level. I played this one, but I don't remember which one it is. There was a couple of night ones. Oh, I do remember this one. This one is easy. It's nice though. I, I like this one. Yeah, because it's got this kind of low gravity stuff. Which, this is the first time I'd seen this. I've not really messed about with the night stuff in this game yet. Which is kind of one of the big additions. Oh god. Boom. The music is so good. What a year for games that we have with Mario Maker 2. Coming out the same week as a new Yakuza game. Oh god. Alright. I don't really need to kill the Koopa. This is me. I like the more triangular look of the... Ooh, it's not Bill Bells. Bill Bells are the little ones, isn't it? I forget the name of the big ones. They don't have little arms like the little ones do. I wish they had like big arms. Alright. Yeah, it's a relatively easy one. But it's good. I like the use of slopes in this kind of area as well. Makes it look nice. I found, in general, with Mario Maker 2 levels, the updates to the camera and the addition of slopes just makes the levels look nicer. Like, when you looked at Mario Maker 1 level, you could tell that's a Mario Maker level. These ones, they just look like good Mario levels. It also helps that these levels are actually well made. Anyway, next one. Good job, James. So the next level comes from Zekinator on the Waypoint forums. I don't know how to pronounce their maker name. Because I'm bad at languages as it turns out. So this one's called Mario Maker 2D World 1-1. I don't know. I don't remember anything about 3D World. So I don't remember if this is actually a remake or if it's just... He just describes it as an easy level. So I think it's just a unique one. He's just called it 1-1. Which is why I did more so in the first game than this one. I definitely called all of my simple levels 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, etc. Um, the thing is, this is the first one we were using in the 3D world set. It's great. It plays so good. It's so such a good step up from the new Super Mario Bros. stuff. Which I was never a big fan of. Like, I like those games, but I think aesthetically they look bad. And there's something about the physics that never feels quite right either. There's gonna be a mushroom in here, right? Ah, Zeke, we did. Right. This one, though. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, you get this different kind of sprint, just like 3D World. 
you have a uh, kind of long jump instead of a, a spin. Uh, you can also spin as well. Uh, spinning doesn't let like, you destroy boxes or anything like it does in other styles though, but you have a butt stomp for that. Oh, god damn it. That was a bad time to do that. You can also climb these. It's just a really nice style. And it's a good level. It's a good simple little... 1-1 one, one is a good name for it. It's, it's good. I like these kind of levels. I'm the kind of loser that doesn't like super difficult. I mean, I like playing some difficult levels, but my favourite Mario levels are the early kind of easy ones. Right. Good job, Zeke. So I realised going through these that actually Zeke's Zeke posted two levels. So I'm going to do the next one. That's why I apparently missed this one before. So this one's castle themed level 1-4. So still relatively easy from the sounds of it. Uh, but I've not played it yet. Still 3D World, which is good because I love this theme. This is, again, probably the biggest new addition to this. Oh, come on, four ways. Oh, God. That long jump doesn't go as far as I thought it did. Probably a sprint jump's all I need. I'm actually not sure the usefulness of the long jump because it goes like that far but if you sprint and jump you get a little more height as well i don't know it seems unnecessary you kill this guy i assume you kill him yeah that's how you get to kill them in 3d world Yeah, I just love the way this world looks. It looks so much nicer than the other 3D ones. Did he put a secret up here? Oh god. Am I going to die just to try and find a secret that doesn't exist? Oh, there is a secret! Zeke. I like you, buddy. Thought the way I thought. Right. Oh, oh it's a boss. Oh, so I need to... That's good, so you have a little one there to teach. That's how you make levels. Is it going to be an actual Bowser fight in this? No. Cool. Oh. Ugh. I messed that one up. That's not your fault, Zeke, there. That's mine. I like that. It was good. Let's leave a comment on it as well. Uh, beat it. All right. Thank you, Zeke. Now. And now I'm going to move on to the next one. So the next one we have is the Chillange Rooms by Terra Nova. Good little pun. Portmanteau? What's the correct term for that? I guess probably pun. Ah, oh, whatever. Not worth worrying about. I'm not a writer. Um, yeah, so this is VASQ3N4VG. Uh, Terra Nova is their forum username as well as on here. So let's play this one. I remember this one a little bit. I do remember this one. Because I actually meant to leave actual comments about this one. And I forgot. But I can do it in this now. So I really like this level. It's a good, simple little kind of challenge room level. The one thing I'd suggest is that they changed how Mario Maker 2 works over Mario Maker 1. And so now if you do a full row of walls at a side, which admittedly these rooms are kind of small, so it wouldn't necessarily make the most sense. But if you do a full row of walls and fully enclose it, the camera won't move, so you wouldn't be able to see the other challenge rooms. 
uh, but I do like this. I, anything that uses the destructible blocks in Mario Maker is my favourite. I made whole levels in the first one based around moving bob arms around to blow things around. So it's a good level. And literally the only thing I'd suggest is maybe make them fully enclosed so that the camera sticks to your area. But other than that, it's good. Oh, I didn't leave a comment on this one. How dare I? There you go. It's nice. Anyway, that's Challenge Rooms by Terra Nova. Alright. Next up, we have Spinning Spinning Sky Away by Eve Secret. Uh, Donut Secret on the forums. I remember this one, and it, it messed me up. But hey, I'm gonna try to beat it again. Uh, XF4 WKV FBG is the course ID. And again, it'll be down below. You're gonna hear that a lot of this video, sorry. Yes, yeah, level's good. It is just hard. <laughs> or at least I found it hard. I might find it really easy now that I'm super great at spin jumping because of it. Because there's another level that I will get to later that. Is also very spin jump dependent and harder than this one. Oh god damn it. No excuse for that. I don't have my lag anymore. I think it was this bad I died at a bunch. I'm just bad at making these transfers. Like that. Hmm. If I remember right, it's not that much harder going past this, but this jump in particular messed me up. It's a good level. Again, using slopes on your levels, like at the start there, just makes them look a bit more natural. I mean, it's a Mario level, it's not really natural. Oh my god. I'm so bad at this. I'm making these mistakes. There we go. Oh, that's what happens when you get confident. Remember, kids, never be confident. Confidence, not even once. Oh my god, right. Easy. Don't get hit by the thumps. Thumps can go horizontally in this game, which messed me up the first time I see it. I don't think you see it in this level. But another level they might get to in this, I might get to in a different video. Um has horizontal thwomps and the first time I saw that I was like what is that thwomp doing? That's not how that works. Thwomps go up and down. Alright. Great, I'm big now. Nah. Overconfident. Gotta be patient. Gotta let them line up. didn't mess up with the first jump. How did I even die there? It's like dying on first Goomba. I keep picking up these coins even though they don't do anything. They're useful if you're playing in endless mode because you get lives. Spiny. On the next spiny. And the next one. Oh god, I'm gonna mess this one up. Oh. Just barely. Right. Carefully. Okay, let it come around again. There we go. Right. Oh my god. I misjudged that. Which means I can't get hit here. Because I remember the first time I did this, I got hit by flames. Oh, it is this one! That messed me up the first time. Because I was like, how does it, how does it do that? 
That's not how phones work. That jump as well also killed me a couple times. This is a good level. I know I've said that about every one of these levels, but I mean that. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I was so close to the checkpoint. I know I said about the levels, but there's a reason why I'm playing them on a video. It's because I like them. Honestly, most of the levels I've played in Mario Maker 2 so far have been good. Which is weird, because Mario Maker 1 was filled with a lot of rubbish. And I'm sure we'll get there. But like, the first couple of days of it being out, there's a lot of nice levels. Not perfect, I mean, you saw the rubbish I made at the start. But, oh, anyway, let's come back. I missed the jump. But you know, there's a lot more decent levels in this than I thought Mario Maker 1 had for the most part. It might just be because the people that are getting in on day one are the people that are interested in making good levels and not people that are just, you know, spin out whatever. I think part of it is also because Nintendo got rid of the unlock stuff. In Mario Maker 1, you had to place a certain amount of blocks or upload a certain amount of stuff and there was time that had to be put in to unlock all the different things for the editor. Now you just have everything by default. And I think that is probably part of it, is people were uploading levels using just the start and stuff and they were just chucking stuff wherever because they just wanted to unlock stuff. Whereas that's not a thing here, so the people uploading levels are people that made levels. I'm talking wrong. Oh no, I missed. No, oh, that's fine. Uh, there's still bad levels, but there's not as many. Maybe it's just because I'm not playing endless mode in like the hardest difficulty, because that was always the easiest way to find. Oh no. Uh, that was the easiest way to find. You know impossibly difficult levels that were impossibly difficult because they were poorly made. Oh, this was the hardest bit of this level for me before, and it still is. It's just the way they sway back and forth, I always misjudge it. I'm just, I'm not good at this. I'll be stuck it here. This is the next hour of this video. Wait, what? I was spinning. Must have hit the tornado or something. Tornado. Right. This time though. Uh, next time though is what I meant. I didn't mean this time. I never said that. You can't prove it. Oh, why does this little one keep messing me up? I got to find the first time. You all saw it. Well, that's it for Mario. He's dead. There's actually another thing. I hope this doesn't restart a level. You can change characters at any time. I don't think it makes any difference. It just changes the sprite. Oh, I didn't even do that. Maybe it's only a multiplayer. Oh my god. I didn't even get the little guy. I was too excited about playing as Toadette and then didn't even get to. Oh, there you go, you have to die and restart. Poor Toadette. Which is a nice little touch. It's not as good as having all the costumes that were in the first one. It's a shame those are not in this. But hey, maybe with DLC. I think there's something with the little spiny and the tornado. I think if I hit it when it's too low, it stops my spin. And if it stops my spin, I can't bounce and get to the next spin, which is unfortunate. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the horizontally moving ones that mess me up, but they do. I need to be more patient on that and stop jumping when he's moving away. This is the one. Did 
take that. Ah, I hope that still make it. So I need to, I need to stop being too patient. I need to hit him when he's not moving away, but before he gets too low. next one. Goes away, comes back, I hit him. Oh, I hit him twice. That was good luck. Right. If I remember right, this is optional because the flag is just here. Oh my god, see? My spin stopped. <sighs> Thank you, Donut Secret, or Eve Secret. It was a very good level. I'm very bad at it as you can see. Uh, Donut Seeker also uploaded another level called Skeleton Town. I'm going to look at that a little bit later because this next level is very similar to this one so it makes sense just do them back to back. Anyway, thank you. Alright, so next up we have Thwomp Romp by Magic Astral 24 on the forums or just Magic Astral on here. Their course ID for this is 3D6YWP3RG. He has it in there. This has two clears. One of them's me. Oh, this is this level. This might be the last one I played in this video. And if you look at the video length and it goes for an hour after this, that doesn't necessarily mean this isn't the last level I play. Is My will describe this on the forum as wanted to try out the parachute and sideway thumps. Made a real jerk of a level doing so. And they're not wrong. This level is mean. It's really mean. So, um, if you missed that pop up at the start, and you can see at the top left there, the little. Can you pause me? Here we go. You have to reach the goal without landing after leaving the ground. Which the impact of that is basically you can jump once but you can't land from it. And so Magic Kishwell has made this whole level. Oh, I was, I got a notification while I was doing that and didn't notice. Oops. Um, yeah, they've made this whole level where you have to stay in the air the whole time. And it's really good. There's a little bit of randomness to it that I don't like, but they did the best with what they could really. Because these guys, they're all spinies. Sometimes, so the way this level works is you look back. Sometimes these two here, you just can't physically avoid their spines, like just because of where they hit them out. And it's it's RNG is you can't do anything about it. At least I don't think. Maybe there's a specific position you can be in to get them to fire, but I I never really got it. I just lucked out. I also keep messing up that last jump. Um, my girlfriend was saying watch me play this when I played it through the first time and she was just like why are you doing this? Why do you hate yourself? And here I'm doing it again. Oh god. I... Uh, and it's a good use of the claw as well. Because the claw, you can't get out of it. I mean, you can, but you have to jump. And it's low enough, or it usually is when it hits you, that you're going to hit the womp and die. It's just not, it's not good. <sighs> Magic Asher, why you do this to me? I mean, you didn't explicitly do it to me. Why are you just to the waypoint form? Good use of music, though. I love they have this music in here. This is some of the best music from Mario 64. Put this in all the games. There's also a song from Mario Galaxy. Oh, that's the first time I've ever actually landed on that. So landing on that counts as landing. So you lose because you have landed after reaching the ground. The other uses of this clear condition are mostly, or the ones I've seen, are mostly just basically don't jump because it's levels it's the opposite it's levels where you you need to land and so they design the whole level around not jumping in the first place 
which is cool. It's not that bad once you get it, but I don't got it. I had it. I know I don't. I had it once. That question mark block up there is a one-up, because I messed up and ended up up there and figured why not, I might as well try it. So if you do encounter this in Endless, I recommend if you know you're already messed up, if you fail the goal, try and get back there and get the one up, so you don't, you know, you can at least restart it. But don't just skip it, because it's a good level, and it's doable. Although I guess if you only have like 5 lives, then you're not gonna... It'd be like 15, I think. Oh, I should add like a life counter to this. If I ever live stream these, I'll add a death counter. Alright, put that a bit close, that's fine. Over the fire, over the spiny, dodging clouds. He's gonna be confident on this guy. Not that confident. <sighs> I can do this. This may be the last time I do in this video. And I'll do another video with the rest. Or the rest of the time of making the video, because obviously it's a forum thread, it's going to be updated consistently. Um, but if people like it, I might make more. Maybe I'll, you know, take them from other sources, like Twitter or something as well. Uh, I just wanted to make this one because I've been spending a bunch of time on the Waypoint forums recently, and they're nice people. So, they're very... Oh, whoa! See, that was the kind of RNG, like, I, I don't know how I dodged that. These should just fall. Oh, I might do it. I might do it. Nope. I got too confident. Um, yeah, it's a nice form. Very inclusive people, which is good. Very nice. And so I've been spending a bunch of time there. Talking to people. Mostly in the books thread. Talking about books. Posting pictures of Kingdom Hearts. You know, the usual stuff. They're a good little community. Discord as well, which I don't really use Discord because despite being young physically, I'm old mentally and I don't understand this new technology like Discord. Oh no, I couldn't, I can get past that one. It's doomed. I do appreciate that the first comment on this is just, I recognize this is a good level but I can't do it <laughs> but you know it's probably what I should have done I should have just given up but I finished this once I can do it again I can't believe this only has two completions like it's hard but it's doable I say as I die again to the first enemy Oh, Jesus. Gotta land on the enemies, not beside them. I'm getting worse at this. I refuse to end this level, this game. This video. Oh my god, I can't speak while I'm doing this. I refuse to end this video without beating this level. I will not let. Was it Magic Actually, I think it was the person that made this. I will not let them defeat me. These little parachutes on the horizontal forms is really good though. They look so determined. Alright, 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 alright. Got this. Just need to hope these spinies don't mess with me at the end. Come on, buddy. Be friendly. Oh, we did it. I told you. See? Not that hard. Easy. Only like, what, 30 tries? Easy. Easy. It's a good level. 
Oh yeah, we're waypoint rips in. Can you call me multiple times? Easy. I hope it doesn't replace Molden. It doesn't. <laughs> That's good. Oh, this person beat me by a whole second. Ah, oh, you monsters. Anyway. That's Thump Romp. Go and increase this. The clear count. The clear count being like two is bad. It's not that hard a level. It's hard, but you saw it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I'll probably do another one if people like this. Maybe I'll do some just completely random ones. If you want me to play your level, put it in the comments below and I'll take a look at it. I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to look at it, but, you know, I'm not guaranteeing that I won't. <laughs> uh, also, take a look at our other videos, subscribe, like, all that nonsense. You know how this goes. See ya.